It's delicious. here and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing some no carb pumpkin decorations because pumpkins are one of the easiest and coolest things to decorate your house with for Halloween Halloween is officially six days away I am so excited and I think you guys are going to enjoy this video and if you guys haven't already make sure that you hit the subscribe button to join the epic owl fam and I post every Wednesday also give this video a big thumbs up to show your support for hashtag Epic Owl Halloween. And also put in the comments down below what other Halloween videos you want to see. Thanks guys! These are all no carbs so you don't have to stab a pumpkin and get all messy. No thank you. These are so easy and so cute. And let's get on to the video. Let's go! For the first pumpkin, all you're going to need is a white pumpkin, and that's what I'm going to be using for all of my DIY pumpkins. Some Mod Podge and just some glitter. All you're going to do is spread some Mod Podge on a first layer on top of your pumpkin, and then put some of your sparkly circle glitter confetti all over it. It's a lot harder to do it by hand, but you can use like tweezers, and place it where you want or you can just kind of freehand it and just kind of sprinkle it on wherever you want. This took a long time for me but in the end it is so worth it. But after you finish putting on all of your sparkles then make sure that you do another layer of Mod Podge just to seal it in. Let it dry completely and you're ready to go. What you're going to need for this super cute ice cream cone pumpkin is some different colored paper and a white pumpkin and optionally a yellow crayon. What you're going to do is you're going to start off by making the cone for the cupcake by just rolling over a piece of yellow paper and then mod podging it together. It takes a while to dry so while you can set that aside while we're finishing up the pumpkin. Next, you're going to make the sprinkles by cutting out a strip of pastel colored paper and just do a long strip and then cut it up into smaller strips. I ended up doing half of the length because these big ones didn't stay in place. Next, take your pumpkin and put Mod Podge all over one side of it. We're only going to put the sprinkles on one side because it will melt out to that side. Plus, you won't be able to see the other side. As you can see, these sprinkles were way too big, so I had to cut these into smaller sizes, and it worked better if I put them into the cracks of the pumpkin. After you have put on all of your sprinkles, then put a layer of Mod Podge on so that they stay. Next, add a few more, which I'm doing. I'm just doing a few more sprinkles just to give it a big, sprinkly finish, and then we can move on to the next step. Then after your cone is dry, I'm just marking it with a yellow crayon to make a sort of waffle print. And then we're going to just put some Mod Podge on the inside and on the pumpkin. Then we're going to put it down. Also add some around it and then let this dry for a long time. You can also add some sprinkles on the top and you're ready to go. For this easy bat pumpkin, all you're going to need is some metallic blue paint and also some black puffy paint. Start by painting your whole entire 
pumpkin, this blue metallic color, or you can also do a purple or even like a gray color. But I, th I chose blue because that is this cool color that will contrast with the black. After you're done painting that, then you might need another coat because metallic paint can sometimes be thinner than actual paint. Once you're done with that and it's all dry, then you can start on making the bats all over your pumpkin by using the black puffy paints. I'm just doing little bat shaped silhouettes that you can see how I'm doing that right here. It's super simple and you can put a lot onto the pumpkin that will make it look really good. After you're done with that, let it dry and you're all good. For the super cute emoji pumpkin, all you're going to need is some metallic and plain paint of your choice. I'm going to do it a purple, so I'm just mixing plain purple and a metallic -y purple. You can do any color and you don't even have to do the metallic part, but I think that it gives it a little bit of a sparkle and it looks really good. Next, you're just going to paint your whole entire pumpkin and let it dry. This one didn't need two coats for me because I also did a plain paint, but you can just do what you need. Then after it's all dry, then you can add your eyes and mouth and little cute cheeks. I'm just going to do a base for my eyes in black puffy paint. And I'm also going to leave room for a mouse, which I'm also going to do in black puffy paint. Then you can add your white eye detailing and I'm just going to use a white puffy paint and just do a dot in the corner so that it kind of looks super cute and it has a little eye detail. Then using some pink puffy paint, then I'm going to do the little rosy cheeks. You can also use paint for any of this as an alternative if you don't have puffy paint, but I think that it works really well and it turns out really cool in the end. Then after it's all dry, you have your super cute kawaii face. You can also do different kawaii faces and I just did a normal one. These all so cute. This kawaii elephant is so cute and definitely my favorite. All you're going to need is a silver or gray metallic paint, or you could just use a plain paint, but again, metallic makes it look so much cooler. You only need to really do the top of the pumpkin, and your pumpkin needs to have a long stem going off to one side. That's going to be the elephant's trunk. Then it paints the pumpkin multiple times with the metallic paint and also paint the stem of it so that it can look like a chunk. Then once you're done, use some black puffy paint again and make the cute kawaii eyes and with the black base and the white detailing. Also add in a mouth down below so that he is smiling and is so cute. I also added some white ears on the side and you can feel free to do anything and another great idea for the ears is to make a felt strip and put ears on the elephant by hot gluing it on. Don't forget the cute rosy cheeks and the eye de detailing and you are done. Definitely my favorite. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. We only have one more video left for Epic Ella Halloween. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye!